this year's tree giveaway offered these species of tree to residents of White Marsh Township. Before planting your tree, consider the planting site, buildings, utility lines, underground utilities, access to sunlight, and other physical factors will impact the tree's growth. If close to a neighboring property, check first with your neighbor if they are okay with the tree reaching over their property. For underground utilities, consider calling the PA1 Call system beforehand at pa1call.org. There is no charge for PA1 Call, however, it may take several days for the utilities to be marked, so be sure to do this ahead of time. Carefully consider how much sunlight will reach your tree before planting. Some tree species require full sunlight, while others can thrive in partial shade and others somewhere in between. Now that you have a location selected, you're now ready to plant your tree. Here is what you'll need. At least two adults, a shovel, a tarp, bucket, or wheelbarrow to hold your dirt, stakes and ties, mulch, and a full watering can or hose. Remove any sod, grass, or plant cover. Clear away at least a three-foot diameter circle. Pile up the sod separately from the soil. You can use upside-down sod as a berm around your perimeter of your tree once planted. Once clear, dig your hole 10 inches deep. Save the soil to fill back in later on your tarp or in your wheelbarrow or bucket. Avoid a mess by laying out a tarp for your soil. This will make filling the hole much easier later on. The root flare is the point where the trunk meets with the roots. The root flare must be above the ground surface. Burying the root flare locks moisture against the tree trunk and causes rot and decay, as well as an increased likelihood of other diseases. Lay your shovel across the hole to ensure the tree's root flare is slightly above the surface. Add or remove soil if necessary. Expect your tree to sink a bit over time, so it's okay if the root flare is an inch or two above level. Begin by having someone walk 360 degrees around the tree to verify it is pointed straight up. While someone keeps the tree upright, fill in the soil evenly around the roots. Make sure the soil is broken up. Reduce air pockets by compacting the soil with your hands and adding water as you fill around the roots. Keep adding soil, water, and tamping until the ground is even once again. If you have particularly rocky soil, you may need to add a few pounds of soil as fill. Staking the tree is the best way to protect it during the first one or two seasons following planting. Two stakes on either side of the tree will help protect it from wind damage. Using twine or rope, tie the tree to the stake about a third of the way up the trunk. But don't tie the rope too tightly. The tree should be able to move a bit on its own, allowing it to grow stronger roots. Adding bark guard will protect your tree from deer and other animals that may rub the bark. This can be removed after a couple of seasons. To install the bark guard, simply place it around the base of the tree trunk and zip tie to hold in place. When it comes to mulching, use the 3-3-3 rule. Use a 3-foot radius of mulch around the tree. Lay your mulch 3 inches deep and keep the mulch 3 inches from the root flare. Mulching helps keep weeds that compete with your tree for nutrients at bay. Replace your mulch at least twice a season. Avoid the dreaded mulch volcano. Mulch volcanoes cover a tree's root flare, effectively suffocating the tree. The shipping and transportation process can be stressful on a tree, so give it plenty of water following your planting. Water your tree at least once per week in the fall until the ground freezes. In the spring and summer, water generously, especially during times of heat or drought. Consistent watering is necessary for two to three years following planting until the root zone matures.